Okay, Stevie, thanks for joining us again. Lots to talk about. Another good result on Saturday against Allah. We'll touch on that briefly. Uh, it seemed, seemed to be in a similar vein. It was another uh, you know, ground out victory, and it's another one that takes us a step to where we want to be. Yeah, it's strange in a way because when I watched the game back, there was a lot of good stuff, a lot of composed stuff, not rushing um, passes and giving the ball away unnecessarily. Um, I, I listened to Jim's. Um, words after the game and I actually thought he was a little bit harsh on us. I can see why he'd be disappointed himself but um, I know I'd said after the game on Saturday that 17 passes before Bruce gets, you know, takes a, a really good touch and then scores a goal which was was very pleasing. The thing was in the first half we all were sitting very deep. It was difficult to try and get him behind him. We did get ourselves into positions to cross the ball but we just didn't get boys on the end of the crosses and that was probably the one wee thing that we needed to to address. At half time we addressed it and as I say the goal itself was a case Joe found his cell out wide, he's whipped in the ball and you know whether the Alloa defender should get to it before Bruce but the, the wee man's taken it expertly and, and knocked it away and managed to go and win the game from, from a well taken goal throughout the team. That just shows you what Bruce Anderson brings to the team as well, he does bring that cutting edge that we were definitely lacking beforehand. Yeah, and and what happens now is there's a belief because the boys see it on a daily basis, and it's not only that. Then competition for places as strikers and, and and forwards now up their game and and they're looking livelier. They they want to be part of it. They're gaining confidence because we started winning games, and you can see it now in the training that their natural ability is starting to show, and they're a little bit more relaxed rather than being tense and snatching at chances, so it is, it's great that Bruce has come in. He's scored goals for us to help us get up this league, but um, it's, it's also had a positive effect on players around about him. Special mention for, I guess the team as a whole you're going to say, because you defend as a whole, but Ryan Scully and the in the back four, that's another clean sheet, uh, one off the record um, now as well I believe, so uh, the turnaround in that has been remarkable as well. Yeah, and I was with, we were at a club function on Saturday night, after the Alloa game and sitting next to Big Leash and for as much as he's got Dunfermline at heart he did make it known that we're, we're away, f I think we're one game away from his record so um, that speaks volume for the players and uh, as you say it, it must be great, it's not just the back four and Ryan, 100% right it's, it's a team that have done it but Defenders, we've chopped and changed. You know, Jackson's been in, Ryan Williamson's come in, James Cregan's played at both both sides. So, along with Big Danny and Ashy, um, it's been great in terms of the clean sheets that we're getting on board. And I, I know Big Mark Dernan, it's important to mention boys that aren't getting game time because he's waiting in the wings and his attitude's been different class. He was he was really good with the younger boys at, in the reserve game the other day as well. And it's important that. We're all, we're all fighting for the cause and it's small details like that, that that's helping us get victories at the moment. Turning to the game this coming Saturday then against Dundee United, um, I thought I said to you a month ago that if we won the game we'd go three points by Dundee United, you probably would have thought I'd been off my head, so yeah. that's the position we find ourselves in, it's a, mar a remarkable turnaround and all of a sudden, you know, they're within our sights. Definitely, and I think We'd, when we were speaking three, four weeks ago, we'd said that Morton was our target, sitting in seventh place to get into six, and very quickly it's propelled into we're now sitting in the playoff positions. The thing is, I think here United's our focus. I know we've got United and we can close the gap after the weekend, but I think that um, here United's got to be the next one that we, we can try and get above. We're three points behind them, albeit they've got a game in hand, so. Um, Hopefully with a positive result at the weekend, we can we can make a, a slight gain on Air United over the weekend. You're going up against your uh, former colleague as well, Robbie Nielsen. He's uh, signed a lot of players uh, over the last, or certainly the January transfer window. It's stumbled a little bit of late, but the, the squad is full of quality, doesn't it? Yeah, they've got a strong squad. Um, and as I say, they're on the back of two defeats at Inverness in the Scottish Cup and then Partick Thistle last week. And, and Robbie will be hurting. He'll, he's, he'll, be making sure that the players come down here and first and foremost they'll have to compete. I know what he's like in terms of their attitude and their commitment, so that's what our boys have to be wary of. But we've stood up to tests. Queen of the South come here a couple of weeks ago, fighting for our lives to try and get, you know, they were in a bad running for them, and we stood up to that. So, as I say, it's, it's make sure we're not complacent. 
we're, we're focused, but focusing on our on ourselves and not just focusing on uh, Dundee United squallies. That's uh, it's got a big game feel about it this weekend, hasn't it? It's you know two big sides who are you know find themselves in the championship, and it's a game that means something to both sides as well. That's the sort of games that you you want to be involved in as a player and as a manager. Definitely, and I I would like to hope that. I'd imagine there's going to be a, a really big turnout. Dunfermline fans are great and they're getting behind us. And it, Again, that comes with winning games and the, the good feeling it's about the place at the moment. But Dundee United will come down knowing that they're wanting to catch, they, you know, they're not giving up that they can possibly catch Ross County yet. And I think it becomes one of the more attractive fixtures, you know, not just in the Championship but in Scotland when you see Dunfermline and Dundee United playing. So hopefully it'll be a good advert for not just the Scottish Championship but for Scottish football in the whole. Let's move on to the injury situation. Uh, what's the latest on that? Andy Ryan has um, today. He's actually been back running, so he's done four or five minute runs today, which is great for him because it's been a frustrating time for him. But he's still a good bit off, you know, looking at possibly getting some game time in the reserves. You know, I think we're still talking weeks, um, three or four weeks on that one. But um, Aidan Conley's another one that's it's got a wee problem with with his groin, so. Uh, that's a little bit frustrating because the wee man had just got himself in and got a couple of wins when he was part of the team as well. So on on that front, disappointing. Um, positive for us at face has managed to get back on the training field this week and get some minutes in training time. So whether he can do enough between now and Saturday to get himself included in the squad, we'll just have to make sure that we don't do anything after him. And finally, we have eight games to go, uh, hopefully more, uh, towards the end of the season, but eight games are scheduled. Um, it's just all about getting as many points on the board as, as you can and, and seeing where it takes us. Yeah, but again, it's, it's focusing on what's above us. And, you know, it's not worrying about what's behind us. It's, it's having the mentality to say we want to catch Air United. And if we catch Air United, then can we catch the next one above? Um, as I say, it's... It seems an easier place to be sitting at the moment, but also a place that we're wary of that we, if we take our finger off the pulse, then we, we could find ourselves in, in a bit of trouble. So it's not getting carried away. It's one that I hope the fans look forward to. I'm sure they'll get behind us. They'll be looking forward to it and hopefully we can give them performance to make them proud of.